10 Strange Things You Didn't Know About Vladimir Putin Hola, welcome back to our brand new video. When it comes to worldwide male leaders, one guy wins the audience. Vladimir Putin is the longest serving Russian leader, having led the country for more than two decades. In this video, we'll discover 10 strange facts about Vladimir Putin. Take a moment to like this video, subscribe to our channel if you haven't. Without wasting a single moment, let's head towards the video. Number 1. He Grew Up In Poverty Putin's parents were married at 17. Circumstances were difficult. During World War II, his dad was harmed and eventually disabled by a war projectile. And during the siege of Leningrad, his mom was trapped and almost starved to death. Putin's introduction to the world in October 1952 was gone before the passing of his two siblings, Viktor and Albert, who died during the siege of Leningrad and in the earliest stages individually. After the war, Putin's dad took a factory job and his mom cleared roads and washed test tubes. The family lived in a shared condo with a few different families. There was evidently no hot water and loads of rodents. Almost certainly, he had a very troublesome youth. And Putin was his parents' third son, but only one to survive in the cruel world. Number two, he was not an idle student. In ninth grade, Putin was chosen to study at Leningrad School Number no. 281, which only acknowledged the city's most brilliant students. A Russian newspaper supposedly later found Putin's gradebook. It expressed that Putin tossed blackboard erasers at the youngsters, didn't do his mathematical schoolwork, acted badly during singing class and talks in class. Also, he was found passing notes and regularly battled with his gym instructor and older students. While at school, he became intrigued by a vocation with the KGB, discovering that the association didn't take volunteers and on second thought hand-picked their individuals he applied to graduate school as a way of being chosen. In 1975, he graduated from Leningrad State University. According to his personal website, he considered himself a troublemaker as a child. As he got older, he earned high marks in school. Number 3. He had broken various judo records Putin has practiced judo since he was 11 years old, before turning his attentions to samba when he was 14. He won competitions in both sports in Leningrad, now St. Petersburg, and in 2012 was awarded 8th Dan of the Black Belt, which put him the first Russian to achieve the status. He's written books on the subject, co-authoring the book Judo with Vladimir Putin in Russian and Judo History, Theory, Practice in English. However, Benjamin Witz, editor of Lawfare and a black belt in Taekwondo and Aikido, has disputed Putin's martial arts skill stating that there is no evidence of Putin displaying any noteworthy judo skills. Number 4. He Joined KGB Right after completing his law degree, Putin joined the KGB in an administrative position. He studied in Moscow at the KGB's former intelligence institute under the pseudonym Platov. He served in the KGB for 15 years and traveled across Russia, and in 1985 was sent to Dresden in East Germany. He rose through the ranks of the KGB and eventually became a lieutenant colonel. However, in 1989, the Berlin Wall came down. Two years later, the Soviet Union collapsed and Putin left the KGB. This wasn't to be the end of Putin's dealings with the KGB, however. In 1998, he was appointed the head of the FSB, the reconstituted KGB. He can speak German and English fluently and served in the KGB as an intelligence officer for several years. However, Vladimir Putin effectively got a post with the KGB, the Atlantic portrays him as an untouchable inside the organization. He was not a KGB brilliant kid like his contemporary Sergei Ivanov, who later filled in as protective clergyman and representative state leader under Putin, the distribution clarified. Ivanov delighted in post in Helsinki and London, Ivanov too generally appeared to be on a most optimized plan of attack as he rose through the institutes and positions of the KGB, the Atlantic clarifies. Conversely, Vladimir Putin didn't arrive at the more elite classes of the foundation until he out of nowhere tied down a political arrangement to head the Federal Security Service FSB, in 1998. Putin stayed a pariah as Mikhail Gorbachev assumed control of the USSR. Number 5. He joined politics as a career After his career with the KGB, he held a position at Leningrad State University for a short while before moving into politics. He was a distinguished employee and by 1994 had earned himself the title of deputy mayor under Anatoly Shobak. After his mayorship came to an end, Putin moved to Moscow and joined the presidential staff. He started as a deputy head of management in 1998, then moved to the head of the Federal Security Service, and by 1999 was promoted to prime minister. 
Before the turn of the century, the then-president Boris Yeltsin resigned and appointed Putin as acting president. Yeltsin's opponents had been preparing for an election in June 2000. However, his resignation resulted in the presidential elections taking place sooner in March 2000. There, Putin won in the first round 53% of the vote. He was inaugurated on the 7th of May 2000. In this way, he became the president of Russia in 2000 and was re-elected in 2004. He was forced to leave the presidency in 2008, but was re-elected into his third term as Russia's president in 2012. Number 6. Putin Loves Beatles In 2007, British photographic artist Platon was sent off to take a picture of Putin for Time Magazine's Person of the Year release. As an approach to making discussion, Platon expressed, I'm a major Beatles fan, are you? He then at that point described that Putin expressed, I love the Beatles, and that his favorite song was Yesterday. Number 7. He has a palace in the forest Putin's gigantic home, nicknamed Putin's Palace, is an Italianite royal residence complex situated on the shore of the Black Sea in Krasnodar Krai, Russia. The complex contains a primary house with an area of almost 18,000 meters squared, an arboretum, a nursery, a helipad, an ice royal residence, a congregation, an amphitheater, a visitor house, a fuel station, an 80-meter span, and an exceptional passage inside the mountain with a tasting room. Inside, there's a swimming pool, spa, saunas, Turkish baths, shops, a warehouse, a reading room, a music lounge, a hookah bar, a theater and cinema, a wine cellar, a casino, and about a dozen guest bedrooms. The cost of the build is estimated to be around 100 billion rubles. The Atlantic reports that Putin fabricated his DACA in this region not long before he got back to St. Petersburg from his KGB administration in Dresden, East Germany. Be that as it may, it had torched in 1996. Yet another one assembled indistinguishable from the first and was joined by a gathering of seven companions who fabricated DACAs alongside his. In the fall of 1996, the gathering of companions officially enrolled their organization. They called it Ozero, and that implies lake, and transformed it into a gated community. Number 8. He has two kids Putin wedded Ludmila Shrebevna in 1983. The couple had two girls together, Maria and Katerina, who Putin seldom makes reference to and have never been seen by the Russian public. In 2013, the couple declared their separation on common grounds, expressing that they didn't see each other enough. Foreign tabloids have revealed that Putin had somewhere around one youngster with a previous musical tumbling champion turned legislator, a case which Putin denies. Number 9. He has been nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize twice. Putin convinced Assad to give up Syria's weapons calmly rather than the other choice of forceful intercession, probable as a result of his companionship with the president of Syria, Bashar al-Assad. For this, he was designated for the Nobel Peace Prize in 2014. He was likely named for the 2021 Nobel Peace Prize. The selection didn't come from the Kremlin, all things being equal. It was apparently put together by questionable Russian essayist and well-known individual Sergei Komkov. Number 10. He loves animals. Putin possesses various pet dogs and purportedly adores being shot with various creatures. The many pictures of Putin with creatures can be extensively isolated into three classes, a caring pet person with many canines, an amazing creature overseer with ponies, bears, and tigers, and the hero of jeopardized species, for example, Siberian cranes and the Siberian bear. He additionally pushes for regulations for the better treatment of animals, for example, a regulation that precludes petting zoos inside shopping centers and eateries forbids the killing of lost animals, and requires legitimate consideration for pets. So yes, these are some of the unrealistic facts about Vladimir Putin. Well, share with your friends who are more likely to get fascinated by such lifestyles. Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you get notified whenever we post a new video. Tell us in the comment section which one was the strangest thing about Putin. We'll meet you in the very next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.